Good afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's that time of the afternoon where you find out what's happening in the tropics and things are pretty busy for it to be this far and this late into the hurricane season. So let's get right to it. We have not one, but two new tropical cyclones out there. We now have Tropical Storm Tammy and Hurricane Norma. So I'll give you an update on the tracks for those in just a minute. But first, let's talk about our tropical climatology. Of course, we've made it past the peak of hurricane season which was right around September 10th. We've made it a little past the middle of October and we are still talking about multiple tropical systems out there. So of course that tells you one thing, even though we are getting closer to the end of hurricane season, we can still have these systems form. And there's even a very low shot one could try to get close to us. The chance, of course, as we go through the next few weeks, will get lower and lower, but it is still a possibility. So always you want to make sure that you do have a plan and you're ready to put that plan into action just in case things start to get a little rowdy here. For now, though, nothing appears to be heading our way. Although we do have a new tropical storm in the central Atlantic. This is Tropical Storm Tammy, and this did develop this afternoon. It did have a high 90% shot to develop into a tropical depression or tropical storm, and we have a new tropical storm. It is definitely more organized than it has been over the last few days. Not quite a well-defined eye yet, but that center of circulation definitely starting to look more organized as it pushes closer to the Lesser Antilles. So let me show you the track of this system and the current wind speeds. It is a minimal tropical storm at this point with maximum sustained winds around 40 miles per hour and it is booking it moving pretty quickly to the west around 23 miles per hour and we've got pressure at 1007 millibars. So by Friday afternoon it's going to be getting very close to some of those Caribbean islands and that means we could have tropical storm force conditions, strong potentially damaging wind, maybe several inches of rain impacting some of the Lesser Antilles. In fact, we do have tropical storm watches out now that do include Guadalupe, Martinique, and also Barbados. Three to six inches of rain potentially could fall there between Friday and Saturday, and those winds, of course, could be around 50, possibly 60 miles per hour with gusts even higher than that. In fact, the official forecast takes it right across portions of the Lesser Antilles Friday and Saturday. And as you can see, those winds will likely be around 65 miles per hour. Then it starts to curve to the north as it begins to push just to the east of Puerto Rico. It is likely not going to make a direct hit to Puerto Rico, but it will start to move north and then northeast as we go into early next week. So that is some good news for us. Bad news is that it could clip some of the Caribbean islands, but the good news is that because of that turn to the north and northeast, it will stay away from the Gulf of Mexico. So that is some very good news. Here are some of our computer model plots, our computer model forecast, and they are still in very good agreement that Tammy will continue to slide off to the west, west, northwest, and then by this weekend into early next week, make that pretty sharp turn to the north and then to the northeast. So I don't think it's going to be a direct landfall for Puerto Rico, but like I said, Barbados, Martinique, Guadalupe, some of those islands could certainly be feeling some impact, some large waves, several inches of rain that could lead to some flooding and some very strong wind. But you can see it is curving and that means it will stay away from the Gulf of Mexico. It will stay away from the east coast of the United States and the Bahamas as well. So good news. But we do have a new tropical storm in the Atlantic, even though it is October. Let's switch over to the Eastern Pacific because it is even more active here. We have a hurricane and a tropical wave with a high chance of developing over the next seven days. So here is that tropical wave south of southern Mexico starting to get its act together a little bit more. High chance that that will become our next tropical depression or tropical storm in the Eastern Pacific over the next week. But we also have newly formed Hurricane Norma. Of course, Norma was a tropical storm. As of the latest update this afternoon, it is now a hurricane with winds around 80 miles per hour. So this is a pretty powerful hurricane and it is sitting off of the west coast of Mexico and it is forecast to push to the north. So that would take it right around the Baja California Peninsula as we go into this weekend and that could mean 
some impacts there as well. Some heavy rain that could lead to some flooding, strong imaging wind possible, and of course, a lot of big surf out there. So here is the official track. Check this out. Forecasts have this blowing up to a major category three hurricane by Thursday afternoon, 115 miles per hour with those winds and then by Friday and Saturday gradual weakening expected down to 80 mile per hour winds by Saturday. Then it, as it gets closer to the Baja Peninsula, it will start to weaken a little bit more down to a category one and then down to a tropical storm by Monday. But notice early next week how Hurricane Norma or tropical storm normal by then will start to push to the north and east. So it will be weakening and it really will weaken as it moves into Mexico. But some of that moisture could get picked up and it could head our way. In fact, between now and this weekend, I don't expect much rain at all for us. We only have one small chance for rain on Thursday at 10%. But notice what happens between next Monday and Wednesday. A lot of colors start to fill in for the state of Texas. So some of that moisture that tropical moisture from the eastern Pacific will likely get pulled into Texas and I do think we will get some of that in southeast Texas so those systems in the eastern Pacific could try to enhance our rain chances as we go into the middle of next week. Let's talk about the names though for this season. We've gone through just about this entire list and we've still got almost another month and a half of hurricane season to go through. So we started off with Arlene, Brett and Cindy, and then we went into the second column, then Ophelia, Philippe, Rena, Sean. And as of this afternoon, we now have Tropical Storm Tammy in the Central Atlantic. We only have two more names to get through before systems and things will start to calm down. But of course, with the formation of Tropical Storm Tammy, we're now up to 20 named storms, six hurricanes and three major hurricanes so far this season. That is above normal. That's several named storms above normal. Normally we would have only 14. We're up to 20 with the hurricanes, though. We're right around average and right at that average of three major hurricanes. So fortunately, at this point, at least no hurricanes or major hurricanes in the Atlantic. We do have hurricanes Hurricane Norma in the eastern Pacific, but we still have some very warm water out there. In fact, water temperatures well into the 80s still for parts of the Atlantic, parts of the Caribbean, and definitely in the Gulf of Mexico. So make sure that you are still prepared. Don't let your guard down, even though things have been quiet here for Southeast Texas all season long. We still have a low shot that something could head our way. So we will continue to do these updates every afternoon, at least all the way through hurricane season, which ends on November 30th. Remember, you can also download our Fox 26 weather app to get all of the latest tropical weather, your forecast cones, a lot of other features on there. Any tropical alerts that we may have here locally or elsewhere can be found there as well. So yes, still a lot going on in the tropics. You would think it would be pretty quiet this time of the year, but not the case. Mother Nature's still throwing us some fireworks, but at least nothing heading to Southeast Texas at this point. That will do it for your tropical update for today. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. Make it a great evening.